Hello everyone. <clears throat> so welcome to the channel and welcome to another video. Uh, today we will learn about these three reference parameter out, ref and in. So before we go ahead, let me introduce myself. So I am Parveen Kumar and I'm having 10 plus years of experience uh, mainly working with Dotnet technologies and also Azure Cloud. Okay, so let's start now. So we will talk about uh, what are these parameters and for sure you know why it is named in such a way that we have to call it in out and re, uh, ref so in is recently introduced in c sharp 7.2 before in we were totally dependent on out and ref if we have to pass reference parameters but since now we have c sharp 7.2 so we have this feature as well where we can use in as a reference parameter so now what was the actual need of these reference parameter so let's go to visual studio and understand uh, let's create another class call it we will name in the same way out versus ref versus in mm -hmm. so we have this class ready now create another method and say name string oh sorry type return type string and say out function let's start with out first since return type string i have to return something with string maybe okay let's say empty for now though it is a wrong practice you can say string dot empty maybe yep right okay so now <clears throat> this is our out function so we all know that you know whenever we have to return something we have to declare here the return type and we can return the same type same type data so since this was a string function the return type was string i have returning something in a string right now let's create another function say public let's say white and we will name it caller function because this is going to call all the functions now say out function okay so this is you know this function where we have to ask for string type it was fulfilling our job it was returning a string but now there was a situation where we have to return multiple parameters or the pair we have to return a parameter which is not in the return type so to do to deal with this situation there was we have to you know dot net or c sharp has to introduce parameters argument reference argument and there we have you know out ref and in so now let's say you know this function is returning one string type but i need a one more integer as well right so we i cannot say hey return string and return integer as well you cannot say that that is not a valid syntax so now to complete this job we have out parameter so let's say i mean all these three parameters so let's start with out i would say out i would say i need integer and return h now since this is you know age uh, and returning integer let's say here uh, i will declare one int and i will say a same name you can you know declare different name as well so maybe let's say you know the default age is 10 or any value now you have to say this is the syntax out and then you have to say h right so this is how you can ask for another parameter or another return type All right but okay so this is you know why it is giving exception because it says this is out but you know you have to assign something so if you are declaring out parameters you have to assign something before you exit or before you return let's say h now say the default value was 80 or uh, 10 now it is 80 okay so let's now let me try to run you so we can 
have a better understanding let's go to program class let's create an object of the class uh, say any name okay this is our object now let's call our caller function or maybe you can call all function as well but you know we have everything set up in caller function uh, let me show you, you know, through the breakpoint I will put my breakpoint over directly over here let's run this program okay now you will say the age default value was 10 right and let's go one step back as well so i can show you you know the return for out function as well mm. i would say fair return of out function now i will go one step forward okay so see what's the value of return of out function it is empty because i have returned empty here right but I was expecting something else from here as well and that was 18 right and that should be integer so if I can show you the value of age it is 18 right so that was actual need of introducing these reference parameters so we can ask for some more return other than what we have decided for our function our methods I hope it is clear now so let's move forward so we understand our out <clears throat> now let's talk about uh, ref so i will create another function uh, i will just copy paste to save some time let's name it ref uh, the syntax would be same instead of out i will say ref right and this is again string so we can return string empty as well you can return you know ref function as well okay so this function is ready uh, so let me you know call that function as well that in as well so i would say for example age maybe test right default value it's okay if it is uh, the same and now let's use is here and name it you know something meaningful return of ref function cool okay so now you must be wondering that you know everything is same the only thing change got changed is that you know the keyword right out oh sorry i forgot it should be ref uh let's see why it is giving error so it says argument one must be passed with the out keyword uh so okay so because we are still calling the old function now it looks good okay so now let's back to you know that topic so you must be wondering why only except you know this keyword everything is same but you know let me show you there is one difference if you are working with out function the out parameters you must have to you know assign before you return before you exit if you don't assign it will start throwing exception and here you go that say the out parameter h must be assigned to before control leaves the current method but here that is not the case so even if you don't assign it won't throw the exception because it is optional here so when you are going for out parameter it must be modified before it exit when you go for reference parameter it may and may not be assigned before it exit before it return so that's the key difference between out and ref the output would be same what was the output for this the output would be same for this as well right so when you know that you know the value should be overridden the value should be reassigned by this function another function at that time you can go for out 
but when you are not sure that the a parameter that you are passing the value that needs to be reassigned in the called function then you can go for ref if you are not sure now let's come to in so this is you know something that introduced was in c sharp 7.2 and that is very new so let's to understand let's create another function this time uh, and we will name it in so everything would be same you know so we all are in the same flow let's say in just change this keyword and now okay this is still string uh i will let's you know test this as well and say in test one Or here it would be in function and I will change this name instead of ref I would say in function okay so what's the difference with so again you know everything is same only the keyword got changed now if you look at it says error it says cannot assign to variable in int because it is read only so that means in is something you cannot assign so see the difference in out you have to assign it must be assigned in ref it was optional in in you cannot assign because it is read only so you have to delete this this line and now you know oh, let me change the right value so we can understand this is written for in so that's the key difference now let's see you know what it's okay so it was still a in ref so now this looks good so i hope it is clear now what's the difference between out ref and in if not you know please do comment in the uh, chat box and i will try to answer over here over there or may create another video if needed so now coming to you know, our next topic uh why they are named in such a way that we have to call it out we have to call it in and we have to call it ref and even you know you are preparing for interview how you can remember this so when something you know it is out that means before you out from this called function before this function where you are assigned you must have to be assigned reassigned that is something out so before you out this out before you out you must have to be assigned and let's go to in and then you will go to ref uh, when we talk about in why it is named in such a way so that means before this go inside any function that called function it must be assigned over here so that is why it is named as in so assign it and then go inside for out assign it and you know reassign before it come outside for that function that's why it was named out reference is like you know combination of out and in so it says i will refer you know over there when you declare it but it is not necessary that you have to you know out or you have to you know uh, in before uh, you know call the function or call function so that's the key to friends okay so guys i hope uh, that makes sense to you if not please do comment i will you know come in a better way in next video thank you so much bye bye have a nice day